Hi, how you doing? Welcome to Fun the Stein Podcast. Uh, today we have Makisa with us, and she's going to tell us all about her journey as an entrepreneur and her nonprofit. Uh, can you tell us uh, your story and how everything got started? Well, I am a veteran. I got out of the military officially in 2010. And once I got out, I didn't know where to go. I just had to ask people and ask this person. And I was wondering if there's a better way to do this process mm -hmm. for the next veteran coming out. So at first I was going to do like a veteran upward bound, helping them get school schooling to go to higher education but then i realized even before anyone can think about higher education they need help with housing they need help with financial aid so i founded this nonprofit, my sister just to be a one-stop shop of all the resources they would need to just survive out there okay um, thank you for doing that as a veteran myself. I know that uh, transitioning out of the military is always a challenge. And yes. there's so much, uh, yes, the, there's a lack of information. There's a lot of programs, but there's a lot of, um, I think the logistical distributing that information it's still not there. So every no, little thing that we all do, it helps. Um, I do believe that. So thank you for doing that in the first place. And so, you know, tell us about, about you, like. Me? And what well, are the challenges that you have? Find? Yeah. Well, I'm a veteran myself, so that's one of the challenges. Being a veteran, trying to help a veteran, trying to help yourself is kind of a challenge because sometimes you have to step away from helping others and help yourself. So that's a challenge. Also, the system is always changing. Like they changed the GI Bill from Montgomery to 9-11 to forever um, GI Bill, just like that. And unless you know someone who does this all the time, you're not gonna be aware of the changes. That's one problem I have. Another problem is I live in Homestead and my healthcare is in Miami, downtown. It's kind of a hard way to get to my apartments from where I am. I'm fortunate I have a car, but it's still far. And I think about that when I do my nonprofit. Every problem I have, I try to find a way to solve it for the next person. But it seems like every day there's a new problem to be had. Okay. And, uh, you know, and, and that's something like uh, a good way to go about, right? Because usually uh, more than one person will have the same problem, will have the same challenge. So that, that's a way to, you know, always trying to find a solution is a great way. Um, with the nonprofits uh, in the nonprofit world, there's a lot of regulations and there's a lot of um, obstacles, right, on the way. So how do you there's navigate a lot that of world? It's not, yes, as, that's um, it's not as easy as, oh, I wanna help that you can help. And unfortunately with nonprofit, there's a lot of money to be needed to have a nonprofit. So there's a lot of fundraising and asking for money and partnership and putting yourself out there. So that's kind of one of the difficulties, but I can't even focus on that. I try to focus on the help. Because at the end of the day, I see myself as fortunate and there's some other female veteran that's not doing too good. So what other obstacle, whether it's financial or filling out this form or going to this person, I do, because at least I have a roof over my head. Some female veterans don't even have that. They don't know where they're gonna sleep tonight. So, but um, like any 
business, non-profit, for-profit, or a high mm -hmm. level, like a big corp, you still need money because in order to help, you still need money. So exactly. mm -hmm. who help you get those, who help you get that um, logistics done? Do you have a group of volunteers that help you? Do you have a... Well, um, I have a, a mini board. A board and I'm still um, well, for Florida, sorry to interrupt you. For Florida, if you have a nonprofit, you have to have a board. I have somewhat of a board, and now I'm still looking for a secretary and a treasurer. Those two positions, I would like to take some time and care because if you don't have a good secretary, if they come and evaluate you, you can lose all capability of future funding. Same thing with the treasurer because that's the nerve center of my nonprofit. So I don't want to just hand it over. Um, right now, the funding is all coming from me and my paycheck and some donations, which I'm very grateful for. In fact, I'm doing a fundraiser to try to get some hygiene products because I can't afford all of them by myself. So you find creative ways of getting exposure, partnering with other nonprofits, other for-profit businesses that is out there. But if you focus on the bigger picture of helping, someone's gonna see what you're doing and gonna say, hey, how can I help? And then you can provide them with that information. So if anyone is interested in trying to help my sister, I'm going to spell it phonetically in the military way. www.sierra echo echo sierra tango echo romeo dot com. Wait, I think I spelled that wrong because it's my sister. Did I say M? Nope. Sorry. Let me correct myself. It's www.mike. Yankee, Sierra, Echo, Echo, Sierra, Tango, Echo, Romeo.com. My sister. So you can go to the site and there's a spot where you can send donations. Or if you, that's confusing, you can go on the Facebook page of my sister and you can try to go contact me and I'll point you the right direction. Yes, and, and we got to provide the link on the on the comments. So anybody that can just link directly from there and, I appreciate and go that. visit your site. Um, now, I know you and in, in the past you have shared uh, the points that you write. So is that something that you do as part of uh, bringing awareness to your uh, to your cause and your mission? Or is that something okay. personal that help you? It's both, because sometimes it's timely. Like my latest one talks about, yes, we now have a female um, vice president, but there's still more to do. We can't just stop there. So that in general is for the general public, making them be aware that just because we have a female pr vice president, that doesn't mean that's where we're going to stop. There's still more to do. There's still um, threatening Roe v. Wade. So I write about that. I also write to help myself. Um, sometimes it's just cleansing just to get the thoughts out. So I do both. Um, and I hope it helps regardless of who I'm doing it for, either myself or if I'm doing it for the masses, I'm hoping it helps the next person see that, hey, there's light against at the end of the tunnel. Well, I read I read a lot of them, the ones that you sent me, and they're beautiful. So you definitely should publish them. Uh, maybe to. like in a novel <laughs> format or something. So Thank I think you. I love. Thank you. I appreciate that. I wish I kn I don't memorize them, so I, or I would share one of them with you, but I can't in this format. But what I can do is again, if you go to the website, I'll definitely or my Facebook page, actually, my Facebook page or Instagram, you can find my latest poem there. And I am planning to publish it eventually, but my main mission right now is to get the hygiene products out to the female veterans who need them. I think that's more of a need rather than me right. needing to publish. Think um, anything that you do to bring the one thing doesn't negate the other one. You know, 
and you as the founder, um, the spotlight is going to be on you. I realize that, and I'm hoping I'm setting and a give you opportunity to talk uh, to mm -hmm. a bigger audience. I'm trying to do be yes. a good example because I know that one female message. What is that? That's an elephant. Oh, I'm trying to be a good example because I know if I mess up, that sets back the whole female veteran community. Uh, so I try to go to events. In fact, I was scheduled to go to an event today. Couldn't because I was dealing with my dog. But I try to engage in the community. And I'm trying to put a space where female veterans can feel comfortable to say they are female veterans. Because that's another issue that no one wants to talk about. There's about 50,000 female veterans in Miami-Dade County. And you cannot find them. I don't, I mean, they don't come out of the woodwork when there's programs and they need to, so they can get served. So I'm trying to put a space where they can feel comfortable to say you're a veteran that you serve and get these benefits or they will stop trying to give benefits to female veterans. And that can't happen. Yeah. It's definitely something that needs to be counted and they need to be um, funds provided for them. And unfortunately, sometimes when you don't use the funds that are provided, then they give you less next time. So yes. it's not only getting the funds, it's actually using the funds the, the way that is provided. Correct. So to justify it. Otherwise, it gets rolled over into another program. Unfortunately. So, yeah. Yeah, that's how I always work, right? So, but I'm glad for you um, though, because you were, I mean, you invited well, me to do this forum. You have your umbrella thing. And every time I see an umbrella now, I think of you like, oh, I wonder what she's doing, where she's going to show up next. So mm -hmm. all of that stuff helps. I mean, once they realize, oh, there's a female veteran behind that, they can say, oh, maybe I can think of something to do too. So I'm grateful for you too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's uh, that was my way of dealing with my transition from the military, right? Uh, I found entrepreneurship. So it's not for everybody, but you know, like you had the nonprofit, all the people want to um, get do the corporate job. Um, there's there are several avenues. Um, that they can transition and they can find a new meaning because it's a hard time. Uh, you know, we kind of get ingrained a purpose while we're in the military. And with all the stuff that we go through while we serve, there's good and bad. We kind of lose that when we leave the military and we lose that that sense of belonging so i think that's part of the problem that's true um and everybody needs to find a way true and uh, you know whatever that means for them uh they need to find a way to deal with that because you still have everything else that you know that come your life your personal life your your kids finance having a shelter um you know and being in a place long enough that's tough enough. <laughs> yes, especially in the so. places of South Florida, <laughs> where it gets cold yeah. in the morning and warm in the day, then cold at night. South Florida is a wonderful place to be, for lack of a better word. So I do agree. And, you know, and we, yes, and, and that's one of the reasons that we have, uh, I believe, uh, such a huge population of veterans on the Sunshine State, right? One of the uh, the state with the highest uh, number of veterans. Right. Mm -hmm. So there's California, so Texas, and how can, besides your website, how people can find you and right? Well, you can uh, find me how, um, on uh, how people can find you about you. You can find me um, by email um, founder Foxtrot 
Oscar, Uniform, November, Delta, Echo, Romeo, at mysister.com. Or you can find me at Instagram at my underscore S E E S T E R. Or you can look me up by my name, Makissa Lewis. You can find me on one of those. I'm on Rally Point, I'm on LinkedIn. And I'm on this new clubhouse thing, but don't try to find me there, but I'm there because I don't know how to use it. So if I, you say hi, I might not respond. Um, I'm on Twitter. I'm everywhere. Makissa Lewis, M-A-K-I-S-S-A-L-E-W-I-S is a rare name. So type me up and you will see one of the places where I'll be. And I don't mind chatting. Um, I feel that's it's good communication, talking about our rare experiences and what we're trying to do next. That helps. I believe in doing the buddy check and checking on people during the holidays because it's hard out here. It's not easy, but with a friend, you can go really far. That's true. So what's one thing uh, that you would like to share that helped you um, on your journey as a you know, as a founder of a nonprofit, uh, what's, what's it I that you would one, like to share with somebody that um, may be thinking about it? One thing that is just keep in mind why I did it. This is not about me. I mean, yes, I am the face of the organization, as you mentioned, but it's about the females that come after me. By making it easier for the females that come after me gives me a sense of worth that you were talking about that sometimes get lost when you transition. So focusing on the why. Why did you start doing this in the first place? It helps. Um, and also giving you a break when you have setbacks or when you mess up, because to err is human. Don't beat yourself up about it. It happens to the best of us. Um, just remember that it's not gonna hap happen immediately. So even if you mess up, don't just stay there. Just get up and try again. Um, and just going on the social media sites, they're there. There's a, a lot of groups out there. Find them, interact with them. Make sure you say you are a female veteran. You did the service. There's nothing to be ashamed of, of being a female veteran. No one's going to judge you. In fact, they welcome you. Um, we're grown in number, but if no one knows that you exist, they're going to take our benefits away. We can't afford that. We need our strength in numbers. So think about that. Think that you're helping the movement go this much further, that you matter, your service matter. So I think about all of that, and that pushed me through during the dark times. I just know that this is bigger than me. Thank you. Those are powerful words and 100% true. So I, I sure hope uh, anybody that hear this message, or your message, um, you know, if they know three people that can help, that's three more people, right? Right. Use by sharing. If that's all you can do. That's a big deal. That will help. Mm -hmm. The power given. So I say. So I, I definitely want to um, thank you for being my guest and sharing your message and your yearning. Um, you're welcome anytime. And oh, before we go, you... can we share my thing again? I'm collecting hygiene products. Of course. Okay. March is Women History Month. For those who don't know, March is Women History Month. And I would like for it to be marked with something big in the veteran, female veteran community. I know we have a female veteran, I'm not a female veteran, a female in the White House. But we can make sure it means something more than that. Um, we can make sure we are calling our congressmen when they do something that infringe on our rights. We can be proactive 
or you could share your story to another female veteran or non-veteran. Take advantage of this moment because this is so rare. It never happened, a female in the White House. So with that being said, make sure it makes some mean something. And my sister is collecting hygiene products to distribute because you know it's hard. I mean, getting hygiene products are so expensive. You know that, but imagine being homeless. It's much, so much harder. So help me help them by collecting hygiene products, please. And I have a link Definitely. in the description of what I'm trying to collect. And I can share that with you so you can have it. But I'm definitely earnestly trying to do this for Women History Month so I can distribute it. March is around the corner. We want to do something to mark this, to make it big so they can see like female veterans of Florida. We're here, we're proud, and we're not going to be ignored anymore. I'm glad. And I'm, and I'm definitely uh, I'm happy to help. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. As one that. of those female veterans. I'm you Florida. do help with your <laughs> umbrellas. Every time everyone sees an umbrella, they're going to say, oh, it's the umbrella lady. Umbrella. Uh, hey, yes, true. it is a moral Every time umbrella. I see an umbrella, I think of you. It's like, oh, I just like, okay, where is she going to be next? It's like a, like a guess. Like you have to figure out where you're going to be next. It's a game. Like, okay, where is she going to go? Hmm. I don't know. You're thinking I about it, aren't you? Kind of, I think. You're thinking about where can I go? Hmm. <laughs> Be careful, though. I would say go to the Capitol, but that's so dangerous. But I see the umbrella in the Capitol. Well, I've been there. Uh, I, I would definitely would like to mark uh, the history moment right now, having a, a vice president president as a female um, with a new visit to the White House eventually. Be careful though, because it seems like they said it's like it reminds me of Iraq, how everything is boarded off and everything. I don't know. If, uh, yeah, so it's kind of hard to get there, but with your umbrella, maybe you can give it to, um, gift it to the first lady, um, the vice president. Yeah, that's a great idea. You can make us female veterans sign it and you can gift it to the VP. I think that's a great idea. Well, let's definitely, let's work on that. We okay. can, uh, def that's a great idea. I like that And initiative. I'm all for it, so. I'm all for it too, so. I like that initiative. Yeah, we could gift it to her. Yay! Let's, let's do this. I'm excited. <laughs> well, um, definitely anybody that's listening to this podcast and be um, wanting to be part of the initiative and and provide an umbrella to the vice president sign for every single female that we can reach. Okay. That'd be great. Okay. I, I think that'd be um, totally yeah, it'd be great. Be I think it was, be it'd be amazing. Yeah. All right. I definitely try to gather my female veterans that I know, right. and we'll just find a meeting place and we can do this. Let's do this. Let's let's talk about it uh, some more on the um, later. That's fine. You know where to find me. Okay. Okay. Well, once again, thank you, and. Anybody that, that wants to be part of, of this initiative and, and uh, the fundraiser for my sister uh, organization, please leave a comment and reach out to either uh, Makisa or myself and I will put you in contact. Well, thank you. Thank you.